All right, shrink wrap. Now this is the workflow setup and kind of debugging process for shrink wrap. In the next video, I show you a practical application. I want to have something for students to reference as far as a debugging and how shrink wrap works, both as a projection and closest to mesh. Okay, so we have two items. This one is called Jill. I named it Jill and this one Jack. Okay. Jill is going to be a box and it's set to wire. Jack is set to texture and wire. Okay, I'm going to put the ball on top of the box and then I'm going to go in and add a modifier to it. Let's add the modifier shrink wrap. The target is going to be Jill. And Jill automatically conforms to, or Jack automatically conforms to Jill. Gee, doesn't that sound familiar? And if I hit tab, you can see I can toggle between the two. I can toggle between the ball and the fact that the modifier now goes into effect when I hit tab. Good. This is called near surface, and it works rather well. In fact, it's my preferred state. But also, there is project. Project, at a negative ratio, gets sucked onto the mesh. But you can see there's a problem with it. And the problem is this. To fix it, sort of, you can scale just a skosh and you're going to get a little bit better results and all of a sudden it gets better. So if you're going to use project you're going to have to kind of scale it every once in a while just to get the perfect result. Again I kind of really like the nearest surface, nearest vertex, but project I don't use very often. Okay, well, that being said, you don't, you might use it. Let's look at positive. Well, positive states that in here, if the box is bigger, all of a sudden, the ball becomes a box based on positive. So let's click on this. So if I take and shrink the box up or shrink Jill up you can see what happens. Anything that I do to Jill let's say I add a modifier to Jill we'll subdivide this up Go back to Jack, and you can see the ball is now conforming to another ball. But anytime you get the wonkiness occurring, like this, you can see this right here, is all about scaling whatever part, either positive or negative, that you're using to get better results. All right, so that is shrink wrap in a nutshell. Now there's other features on the shrink wrap as you've seen that I didn't cover, like the offset, and that's just the offset of the mesh from the original object, and subsurface. And this is the conforming of normals across the surface. There's also X which is only affected in the x-axis, so now you can see the, the actual ball is conformed only on this side of it. Y, Z, and combinations thereof always get a little wonky. Practice using it at a low level 
first before moving on to the next video. In the next video, I show you how to make a new shape based upon Sculpty. So you can take a sculpted object, a sculpted object, join them together, and then retopologize them using the shrink wrap. All right, meet you in the next video.